In this feature video, we're going to take a look at effects palettes linking to queues, which is a new feature added in our 195 stable branch. It was introduced in 1951 onwards. So we've always had effects palettes, but previously you didn't have the option to link them to queues. Now the default option is if I select an effects palette, it would be linked to a queue. Let's take a look at this. So you have got the option in your setup window under view settings under queue storage. You now have the option here for effects palettes, which the default is now normal. You do have the option of saying uh, disabled and changes unlink effects palette. So if you make a change to the effects palette, it would break the link. It would leave the queue at the original state, uh, but then allow you to change your effects palette. We're going to use the normal default option here. So if I go into a layout one, grab my spots, and I'm going to locate them, and I'm just going to put a basic circle effect on those spots, like so. Now I'm not going to record a palette straight away. I'm going to go and just record that to a queue on playback 10. Now I'm going to open up my effects window. I'm going to record that as effects palette number two. And you can see in the top here, it tells me it's used zero times. At the moment, there is no link between the effects palette and the queue. So if you've got an existing show file and you maybe had recorded some effects palettes in queues, you do have an option to go through and link them. So here I can hit the check effects link soft button at the top and I can click on my palette and it will look for anywhere that effect is used in my show in exactly the same way. So with the same size, spread, etc. And you can see here now it's now found that in Q38, QStat21, which is on my playback 10 here. So it's linked that up for me now. And we can see that's linked if I was to update the palette. So if I run the playback, you can see here's the effect. If I include the effect palette and in my program window view effect, modify the size and hit update and clear, that's now pushed through to my queue. And just like any other attribute palette, so position color beam palettes, I can have an effect palette. If I grab the spots again and locate them and select uh, my effects palette here, and I record that to some other queues. It now tells me that's used three times. And if I was to go and include the effects palette here, and then modify it back again to a bigger size, update and clear. All three of the queues with the link have been updated. So we've got now effects palettes linked to queues. Now, if you have an existing show file, uh, I already showed you that in the effects window, you can do a check effects link, but that's very manual. You've got to check individual effects. If you hold the shift key down, there's a check all links button, which allows you to then go through uh, and allows you to check uh, all links or we can do an extract effect, yes, and it will now, when I do an extract effect, yes, we'll go through and pull all effects that are in my queues and create an effects palette for them, as you saw here. So this show had three effects existing in three different places, a circle, a tilt, and a ramp, and it's found those effects in my queues, and it's created effects palettes for those linked to my queues. So again, it's you now created those with the link, I could update the effects palette, and it's gonna then affect my queues. So that's effects palettes, in our version 195 stable onwards.